I am making bento cakes because one day it is my English teacher's birthday. The other day we weren't supposed to have English class because she was asked to attend something but then they said it was a mistake so we had English class at the last minute. She borrowed some shoe pastries, sprinkle of sugar, it's called shugetia. It was so cute and I thought since her birthday is coming up, why not bake her a cake? So I asked her if she was allergic to anything and if she liked cakes. She was kind of suspecting things but she probably forgot. <laughs> For the flavors, I decided to go with my favorite soft vanilla Genoa's base cake with fresh prison inside and a white chocolate ganache base with cream. I'm gonna add some vanilla extract. This is straight from Madagascar. After 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, I sprinkled sugar on a parchment paper. Actually, I don't know why the recipe says to do so because... Uh... You can make your genoise up to two days before if you keep your cake at room temperature and then a few days in the fridge. I usually do it the night before. As you can see, I don't measure my chocolate, I just use about half of it, a little cream and then it goes on the double boiler. For the raspberry sauce, really simple, you add a little water and sugar. I really use minimal sugar because I really hate overly sweet cakes. Normally for syrup bakers you use a 2 to 1 ratio or even a sugar syrup, but I prefer it my way. Once the ganache is ready, I let it cool while I whip my cream, um, and uh, it was 11pm, and I couldn't whip it in the kitchen because it was too close to my neighbor's room, so I whipped my cream in the living room. I was looking for burger boxes to put the cakes, but I haven't found any. They were only available on online wholesalers' websites, so I found the smushy and salad boxes with a cover, so that's what I used. This is the small one I made. I didn't really know what color I should like, but I tried to make a peacock blue and it ended up looking like this, so I kept it. Thank you. 
This is it. <laughs> For the big one, I wanted some kind of lilac pink kind of shade. Uh, it's a bit more of a matte color and it pretty much turned out the way I wanted it. At that moment, I started to be really stressed because it was 8 and I was supposed to leave home at 8.20 to be there at 9. I failed piping the cream. The last ones were a little too small, so I took it off, piped it again, and then it was still ugly, so I took it off again, piped it again, and then like, what? <laughs> Excuse me, Morago? Final touches. This was actually harder than I thought because it's in a box, so you don't have enough space to pipe it correctly. But again, I think practice makes better, so I'll get better at this one day. Here's the final result. I am so scared. Oh my goodness. And it was a success. She didn't expect it and she was like so happy. <laughs> Merci. This cake was delicious. You can taste the vanilla it was. It's so soft and light. The sweet and sour of the raspberries is perfect. The cream was amazing. The combo was just boom. And on top of that, the little heart gave a crispy touch to it. Incredible. <laughs> And this is the end of this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.